so Alzheimer's is a form of dementia. It's um, a disease in which uh, people gradually uh, lose their memory as well as a number of other uh, social skills. They lose other cognitive abilities as well. It uh, often has symptoms at the beginning that are really hard to distinguish from what people get just with normal aging, the kind of forgetting that we all have at times. So dis making that distinction can be a little bit difficult early on. What we might be looking for is um, a change, some change in one's ability to do things, a tendency to repeat oneself more than they have, uh, forgetting appointments. And then it will progress toward some personality changes very often. Um, people may also lose their ability to navigate within space. That means they can get lost more easily. Uh, they may have trouble doing calculations so that handling business affairs, even household uh, grocery purchases, making change, all of these things start to become more difficult. They are losing their grounding within the environment. It's dropping out bit by bit in a piecemeal manner. So some days a person may actually be functioning very well and the next day they may be, they may not. Their ability to actually think about the details of the future is hard because when we think about the future we're really building on our past. And an Alzheimer person, as they lose their past, is also losing their future. We are facing uh, potentially an epidemic of Alzheimer's on the horizon because the entire baby boomer bubble is now moving into the age of risk. So in a system which is already strained with this problem, what's coming is gonna be even more, is there's gonna be a greater incidence of Alzheimer's and we're not prepared. Sadly, uh, we don't know of a single individual that has been cured of Alzheimer's or a, either with a drug treatment or spontaneously. That's quite different than other very serious diseases. Um, we are looking very, very hard for a treatment for Alzheimer's disease, a cure, but it's not around the corner. It's not gonna happen tomorrow and it's very unlikely that it's even gonna happen next year. The way we can make an impact right now is to do everything possible to reduce our risk of getting it in the first place. And we know what some of those risk factors are. In the medical area, the, they are reducing blood pressure, if it's high, reducing your cholesterol, and trying to prevent uh, diabetes. Of course, it's all known that these uh, medical risks can lead to cardiovascular disease. What's new is that there are also risks for Alzheimer's disease. Now we also have a list of lifestyle risk factors. And we have um, emphasized five of them for which the evidence is the best. By far and away, the top of the list is exercise. Number two, good nutrition. Number three, presenting your brain with cognitive challenges. Number four, keep stress to a minimum, and number five, try to develop a circle of friends. Successful aging is associated with having friends, and we believe that um, we should help people to make that happen.